Oh, well. Anyway, um, Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, talking about them because we went and saw the Jersey Boys, and really, I enjoyed the movie. Yeah, so it was a good, learned, uh, good learned hit. something that we didn't know, possibly. Like I said, they take so much po- poetic license. And like I say, it was a Broadway show, so who knows? They might have, you know, just, it might be a lot of, a lot of made up stuff. I'm just reading the book here, and the four four songs above okay one two three four that would be don't think twice on the good ship lollipop you're nobody till somebody loves you and lonesome road were the wonder who in this career of frankie valley valley in the four seasons Hmm. it says the wonder who the above four yeah, it says right here, too, about Valerie remained the group's constant with each owning 50% of the act and its assets, which was the writer of the sub songs. So that, right. I mean, that wasn't bad, though, that he took him out as a 50-50 partner because he wrote the songs. Most people would just say, okay, I write the songs and I get the, f- the full royalties of the song, but he split it with Frankie, but of course, I don't think a song would have made it as well without Frankie. And then Barry Manilow came along and... I write the song, so that took care of Frank. <laughs> Make Valley the, the whole Force. world sing. Anyway, I'll, I'll stick with Frankie. I don't okay. know, I like Frankie better than Barry, but anyway. Um, let's see. So, what do you want to do? You want to play another song? Say, Four Seasons uh, group members, 1960-1966, were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1990. That's what we see kind of at the end of the movie, and joined the Vocal Group Hall of Fame in 1999. They are one of the best-selling groups of all time, having sold an estimated 100 million records worldwide. And they recorded on the VJ label of 62 and 63. Yeah. It was all VJ. All VJ hits recorded in 62 and 63, even though a couple of them says VJ, uh, were hitting the charts into 64. Yes, yeah, his label is gone. VJ, Phillips. Yep. Uh, Mo West. Warner. Curb, MCA, and Warner Curb, Curb yeah, Crew, that's the Crew, and that reminds me, my heart reminds me, it was on the Crew label. And that's Bob Crew and the, the, the Bob Crew generation. It shows up all Phillips, VJ, the one RCA, Crew, and Warner Curb, and then just a plain Curb there on December 1963. Oh, what a night! Dance remix version, the yeah, reissue. That was, that was Gary Pol- Polick or Pol- 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 Polky or Pol- Something like that. I can't remember his name. Okay. Well, it just says past members. It says Tommy DeVito. Of course, we knew him. He was mm-hmm. the scumbag that took all the money of the band. Uh, Bob Gudio, or however you pronounce it. The guy that's that that's wrote, good. The guy that wrote all the songs. And you got Nick Massey. He was the guy that did the low, all the low stuff. Mm-hmm. You said it. Anyway. Um, Why you had, don't you, got you? Charles... Kaleli. Kaleli or Kalelo. Yeah, Kalelo. Joe Long. And then the other one was in there was, was uh, Gary uh, Polsey. I think he, is he the one that's, that did the song um, December 1963? Because I remember it wasn't Frankie that sang the lead parts in that one. Oh, I don't know. I've got the record, but it doesn't. Well, there's two versions. There's the remix version. Yeah, but it's still the same guy was singing it, though, in, the, in both versions. December 1963, Bob Goody, Gudo, he wrote Judy it. Parker, Sessions Music, Warners Incorporated, The Four Seasons, produced by Gudio for Mike Curb Productions. Hmm. That's all it says. It all came right. from the LP, Who Loves You. Yeah. Yep, that's all it says. Sorry about that. Writing a success of short shorts. You know, that was a horrible song, too. <laughs> Wish I would. I mean, it, was, was? it was a good song, but it was a horrible song. Short shorts. I mean, that really didn't show Who much. Who wears of, short shorts? I wear short shorts. But, I mean, it didn't show much of a range. I mean, considering it considering some of the other stuff he wrote. But, anyway. Um, no, but it was a good song by the no, Royal Teens. Yeah, right. Yeah, it says all the same things. It says here in 1962 uh, to early 1964. Only the Beach Boys match the Four Seasons in, in record sales. So, anyway, I'm just trying to find uh, that one song, but I don't think I'm doing that well. Oh, well. I don't know. This is 
up a ton of stuff here about them. But anyway, I guess instead of having me read it, you should go to Wikipedia and read all about the Four Seasons. So what are we doing now? Another song Whatever you want. We do another song by the Four Seasons? Yep. What song are we How doing? far down have you, have you we did lock what about Walk Candy Girl? That was their next uh, Candy Girl. Do I have it? I should have it. You should have. It was a big hit for them in 63. All right, let's find it here. Uh, I can sing it for you. Call me a girl. <laughs> I don't see it. Come on, it's supposed to be all the hits here. What's up with this? Uh, I don't have it. Oh, what a night! Nineteen ninety years, just as that would be true. Who loves you? Swear to God, well, what, down, my what adore good you, are Mary. you? I made know. number, made number three, right behind "Walk Like Mary, a Man." Marianne, I'm begging you. Got you under my skin. Don't you worry about me. Dawn, Dawn. Ronnie, Ragdoll, save it for me. Those are all right in a row after "Candy Girl." Yeah, I don't see "Candy Girl" on here though. Isn't that mm. crazy? Yeah. Huh. That's terrible. Candy girl. Yeah, okay, that's enough of that. Next. <laughs> so Don, I got Don. Don, go away. That was number three, two, and 64. So we're just exchanging two, uh, number three for number three. All right, here we go. Pretty as a midsummer's morn. They called her. story of my life with women <laughs> all right so okay i'm just seeing if i got candy girl on my yeah. Yeah. yeah we got to play it again oh, all right so, uh, we got a repeat here different on your thing but anyway um but i'm just trying to see if i can if i have dawn on this computer but see i i had uh um Tony Orlando and dawn But I had all the stuff on he, on my computer, but... You're looking for Candy Girl, not Dawn. Oh, yeah. Duh. 
Jeez, get up, buddy. <laughs> See what happens when we go off track? We don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Oh, I got it. I got it this one. I got Candy Girl. Well, how okay, come sweet. it's not on the other one? I don't know. Because it was off a CD. I just not knocked the stuff off the CD. Okay, this isn't going to reach. Oh, it's got to reach. Just pull it. Oh, here. Just pull it. <laughs> Take, take this over on your side. Uh, okay, I'm now a computer guy. Uh, you can you can read. I can you probably read better than me anyway. All right, here we go. So here's Candy, candy girl. girl. I've been a searching all this big wide world, and I'll finally I found my. Now I got a computer in front of me. Yeah. Strange. My book disappeared. My 45 disappeared. Everything disappeared. Yeah. Of course, my wife's been telling me that for a few years now. So. <laughs> why did I? Why did I see that one coming? I should. I should have jumped on that. Well, <laughs> sorry. Let me back up on that. Okay. All right. 